fascination. Beneath the epidermis of the face lies the syrup of our memories, the babysitters of our hearts. This longing for memory is our common denominator pushing us in our pursuits to foster something that tips beyond the ego, to bring life onto each cheekbone. Ah, true breath lies in decentralizing the self. So really, none of us are strangers to each other. We're all just untapped family across diasporas and sizes, collectively looking to breathe life to the face. I think I've always had this desire to express the nuances of my internal world um, and, and do so through the arts. Since I was young, I was writing poetry and uh, just through the evolution of my life, I've seen that storytelling has been the way for me to really dive into who I am as a human. And because of me putting myself out there, I was about to meet some other beautiful creatives who felt the same. I was invited to a creator camp with creators from all parts of the world and and it was interesting to say the least if I could be honest I was pretty anxious it's my first time meeting Simon, Max, Ryan, all of these creators. And I question, why am I here in the first place? So I think in the first kind of <laughs> element of we did it. turning a stranger into a friend is to really step into the parameters of the unknown and to use the uncomfort, the discomfort rather, as a cooling agent and dive in. Most people like think, okay, I'm a white kid from Utah, so it's like they put me in a box, uh, and I refuse to be put in a box. Absolutely, I, I want to reach further in every project. So I just, I don't know, try to reach it. Yeah, yeah, bro. I know you say you've been playing instruments. Bro. Seven years. Seven yeah, years. Producing. Five years. Five years. Yeah, yeah. I'll salute you, bro. That's real, bro. Yeah, keep going, bro. That's real. That's okay. This is all I care about. That's real. That's yeah. real. That's going. That's all you need, bro. Yeah. Like, if that's what you care about, you are gonna see it through. Absolutely. You know I mean, yeah. by default. I see. I see no other like rounds of life. That's cool. That's fine. We were. We were able to really affirm ourselves into into. Continue to talk to folks, break bread with folks, and I was just having a convo here, a convo here, and it just felt like my heart was being distributed. But uh, day two was a lot of day one, continuing to break bread with folks um, instantaneously, and just uh, have 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 beautiful conversation on the creative uh, creative discipline, if you will. We got a little game room in here. Got a lot of books in here too, but that's one thing that I realized. But um, but yeah, I saw this, bro. I don't want to see somebody in here. But they got like a sauna in here too. There's another thing too I realized. There's a lot of Sundance f Film Festival things that I saw here. I'm gonna take y'all upstairs. Like the common area right here. A couple folks out here just chilling. My brother, how you doing? How are you, man? I'm blessed, bro. What are you up to right now? 
I was, I'm just doing like a little tour. I was just filming it. Gates of shots. Little tour, and it's like the crib, yeah, a little, little tour of the lodge and everything like that. That's beautiful, bro. Yeah, bro. How you, how you feeling, man? You good? I'm doing good, man. I think it's like probably like we have a creative side that's kind of like okay, I'm. I'm gonna like lean into business and marketing more. And like, what's really weird about this event is I came here because I was like, okay, I want to be able to like, I want to be inspired by all these people yeah. and hopefully like uh, catch my creative side again as I as I take more like o like leaps into creating again. Right. Because I've like I've been disconnected from creating. I just started posting again mm -hmm. because I have a, like the mission I shared with you yesterday to help people understand themselves and others better, like and being of service. Like that's I want to actualize that and I want to mm. create media events and all these things Absolutely. but um, i think at this point i'm like there's blockages there's, there's resistance mm, wait wait where, where you think it's stemming from fear absolutely yeah. fear bro yeah. uncertainty last night even when i was talking to all these people it's like i looked up to all these people and i was like wait a second they're actually these people are still uncertain and then that made me more scared i was like oh my god should i stay creative or because yeah. the creative lifestyle is very uncertain very scary yeah. like you're doing business Marketing, like I'm, I'm working in a startup right now. It's fat. It's great. It's wonderful, but yeah. it's not as creative. It's not that creative lifestyle I yearn for. Mm, and there's something about I think the creative lifestyle, which is like deeply intertwined with your spirituality of like being authentically you and. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, it's great. Amazing. I ain't even watched the full, I ain't even watched from the beginning, so I'm excited to see that too. I'm an actor, you know what I'm saying? I'm an actor. And action. Yo, how you feeling? Oh man, it's been a long time. Good to see you. How you feeling, brother? Yes, sir. Hey, yeah, welcome. I'm, I'm welcome. excited, man. I'm excited. Let's do it. Oh, man. <laughs> I appreciate y'all, boys, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's been a long flight though, so it's understood. But bro, like, it's one right there, bro. Oh, don't don't worry about that one. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, yeah, yeah, it's normal around here. Sure. It's normal around here. Some shit. Okay. It's okay. All right. Yeah. Y'all right? I'm sure. Now. Take care, my way. I'm sure. I'm sure. Damn. He crazy. I, think I messed it up. With it. Oh. your liberation. Hold your hostage. Sometimes you gotta crack through the cocoon of comfort and swim in this belly. This fear and confrontation. And know that you won't drown. That you can float and forgive yourself. Film festival. And um 
as time just continues to go on um, in this second day, I just continue to feel a bit more comfortable, a bit more firm, like I deserve to be in this space. And uh, it was just it was just refreshing, to say the least, to just be around so much amazing energy, amazing vibes. Visit that school, and through that, I was introduced to the wonderful people here at Build On. I was introduced to Morgan, and introduced to Jim, the CEO, and we're really excited to have you out, Jim. Jim's been running Build On for over 30 years, and they've built over 2,000 schools in different countries, and they're all sustainably built. And so I think something that we want to emphasize for a creator camp, especially, is the phrase coined by, where's Mr. Eli? Yes, <laughs> more than content, which basically means that, hey, we have this huge collective power, we have this huge audience, what can we do to better this world? And maybe that's in telling more meaningful stories, maybe that's in fundraising for nonprofits, but we really want to get the ball rolling and the gears turning on how we can have a bigger impact outside of just getting more views and building our audiences. So without further ado, we'd love to give a big round of applause and welcome to Jim Zalkowski. <laughs> Thank you, my guy. It's not that cold, actually. Thank you, buddy. I'll do the journal, Nathan. Yeah. You know where we can go. No, that's why we kind of... That's very fair. Yeah. Cool. Learning to do, like, puzzle set jewelry making. So you make a ring, a pendant, or a bracelet. Are you, um, like, bending the wire? Yeah, you're Like, because I know that it's soldering. That's the word. Uh-huh. Soldering. You are soldering. Setting is done. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yo, Mama, dude, this is so much fun to and use. Then go on to the next one. Mr. Kiel. Oh. How do you mind the beginning of it? Um, go ahead and untie that knot, and it'll be easier to find. Is your Mama do's camera? Yeah, was that the FX3? Yeah. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm confused, but I think I'm good. Close that gap right there. Not so much. I realize a very vital thing that we are all really looking to be amongst others in, in similar disciplines and similar ways of expression. That community tangibly right it can start on the screen but it shouldn't end on the screen these human to human interactions is what we desire and we can get curated ideas of it we can skew it but it will never feel as if it will never feel as good or genuine as doing it in person and that expedites the process so rapidly when you're in one's place you're devoid of all these kind of distractions and you're really focused on the interactions with another person. You should. Did you, you, you win? Yeah, it every night nice. actually. It's fine, just dunk it on the, the hoop too, it's safe. Oh, I actually have not even went in once. I like, I, I did my toes in a little bit, but yeah. I, ain't, I ain't like actually like dressed up there. What's up, Bonnie? Whatever. Yeah, what's up, man? We just feeling, it's feeling a little, a little calm. Uh, I have a question actually. Okay. Um, what do you consider, who do you consider as a friend? Like what dictates a friend to you? Versus like an acquaintance versus like a best friend? I think it's more so about trust, you know, like the level of trust that, you know, yeah. I think like, uh, you know, best friend, I'm trusting with my life, you know, I trust him with anything. You know, acquaintance, like I, I mess with you, I like what you're doing, but like maybe the trust isn't like, you know, as there, maybe they like you for yourself and then, you know, it's just this levels of trust. So that's, I feel like that's where it really comes in. The idea of the mud, right? Mm -hmm. like, like going through the mud with somebody. Mm -hmm. um, you know, blood is thicker than, than water, but what, mud is thicker than blood. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like yeah, some, yeah. somebody you, you've went through every emotion with, happiness, like mm -hmm. you said, like being able to go through an argument, being able to um, be vulnerable with them, have, um, I guess, you know, conversations of, of, of vulnerability, of trauma, and then being able to just, you know, still be present with each other through all of those highs and lows. Mm -hmm. That's how you know somebody is, is, is 
with you, bro. You feel me? Some people like they can just go straight into. I mean, people like in like fraternities or like military or religions. You know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. if you like go through very shared experience, shared experiences. It's easy. Um, it's like a that process. <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's easier to just like instantly, I think, connect. Like all of us connect because we have a shared interest in like creation and art. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah. Um, oh. It's like same sort of like triumphs and, and losses and oh. um, up and downs. Yeah, it's like same type of mud, but we're just trudging it in different uh, places. Different, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but when you trudge it in, sim in the same place, that's when it's like wow. crazy. It's just so inspiring. It's amazing. So in that spirit, um, you know, creative juice. You guys probably all got a little bit. In your pamphlet, like our pamphlet, that tells what we do. But we try to make it easy for you guys to run your businesses, so that you're not stressed about your taxes and your 1099s and all this other stuff that is existing to strip down your creativity and make you want to curl. So I'm here to present these amazing debit cards <laughs> um, to two amazing creators here. And look, there's a lot of amazing creators, but we really um, partnered with these guys to think about who could take this money. Um, $2,500 and do something really amazing with it. So the two creators, I'm going to ask you to stand up and come get your creative juice cards. <laughs>
everything must come to an end. It was the end of the program. It was time to, to pack up and to all the things that we experienced, all the little moments that we shared with each other, the conversations that we had with each other, these intimate moments of reflection, of gratitude and of exchange. To not only put it within our hearts, but to, to let it transcend beyond uh, the parameters of this event. To let it transcend into our work and to how we build communities within our own respective regions of the world. It was special. Pleasure, my guys. Say the least, man. Yeah, yeah it's, it's me right here, man. It's me right here. Just the beginning, my friend. Exactly. Just the beginning. Exactly. Alrighty. The biggest guide or the biggest rule or or tutorial and turning a stranger into a friend is to realize by making memories you guys were never strangers in the first not even close you've, you've known each other before the person that you've seen on the street trust your intuition that you've, you've seen them you've seen them in another dimension somewhere at the end of the day, all of us are just untapped family trying to have communication, have some sort of, of, of collaboration with one another to share the nuance that is the human experience. And uh, a lasting thought. As memories can come to an end, you're only left with one real thing. And that's uh, to make new memories. So it's not goodbye. Just I'm going to holler at you later. And that's it.